everyone and welcome back. In today's video, we are going to be exploring class 9, chapter 5, Euclid's ge Geometry. It's not chapter 4. We already did chapter 4. It's going to be chapter 5. Also, in the last video, I said we were doing chapter 3, then we were doing chapter 4. So, please don't mind that. But, let's begin. Now, this talks about Euclid. Now, this is a quite uh, weird chapter, I would say. But I have got a thing. I've got a degree of making everything as short as possible. So I'm going to make this video as short as possible. So let's get into it. Akhwad. Akhwad is a teacher of mathematics at Alexandria, Egypt. Meaning he's just a teacher at in Egypt, right? Alright. Um, now he gives two rules. Two rules kind of stuff. Which is axioms and po postulates. Okay, they are nothing too fancy. They're just like axioms are... Rules or principles that people believe are true and they are applicable for any type of maths, meaning they can be used in algebra, not only in geometry as it says in the title, but it can be used in algebra anywhere. Now postulates are assumed or claimed to be true, which is also kind of um what axioms are, but they are assumptions are specific to geometry. Like in the other one, it was on it was on any type of maths. It's on this one's only to geometry. Now there are seven axioms. The first one is a is equal to b. If a is equal to b, and if b is equal to c, then a is equal to c. Let's take an example. If two is equal to two, then um two is equal to two. No matter what you say, maybe this is a, maybe this is b, this is b, this is c, and right. So if you write um, 2 is equal to 2, here is the C can be A. It doesn't matter. Whatever you write, they all are going to be equal. 2 is equal to 2. That's our formula. All right. Uh, so let's move on. 4 plus 2 is 4 plus, uh, 4 plus 2 is equal to 4 plus 2. Let's see. 6 is equal to 6, right? And 4 plus 2 is 6. So very easy stuff. 4 minus 2 is equal to 4 minus 2. Meaning 2, 2 again is equal to 2. All right. You got that. Uh, let's rub all this out. Alright. Um, if you have things which coincide with one another are equal to one another. Meaning, coincide meaning kind of overlap. As it says on the bottom here. So if you have a dot over here. This is a very big dot. And you have another dot on it. Now these two are going to be equal, okay? Because they're right on top of each other. If this is a line segment, line segments are basically lines from one dot to another, but lines are ongoing, like forever lines. So this is a line segment. Then um, this is overlapping each other. If we have got two on it, three on it, four on it, they're all equal to each other, okay? That should make sense because it's a very easy topic. Let's move on. The whole is greater than a part, meaning if you have a whole circle and this is a part, this part is smaller than the whole, meaning the whole is bigger than the small, right? Um, 2 is equal to x, meaning 2a is equal to y, meaning x is equal to y. That's like the other one, the first one that we did. a by 2 is equal to x, a by 2 is equal to y, meaning a, x is equal to y. Very easy. You can, it's self-explanatory. <laughs> I can't really make it easier. Now, five postulates. A straight line can be drawn from any two points. If you take this point and this point, we can always connect them in a line. In a line segment. All right, let's move on. Um, a circle drawn from any center and radius. If you have this center and you have this much radius, then we can draw a circle over there. If I do, um, just a second. If I do this and that and draw a line, then we can draw any circle from any side. All right, got that? All right angles are equal to each other. Are equal to each other in no matter in what direction they are. Meaning if you have this right angle and if you have this right angle, they are equal. If you have this right angle and if you have um, this right angle, they all are equal. All right, very easy to, very self-explanatory, but, you know, things to learn. Now, this is the important one. If a straight line falling on two straight lines makes the interior angles on the same side of it taken together less than two right angles, 
then there's two straight line is produced indefinitely meet on that side on which the sum of the ang of angles is less than two sides two right angles okay this might sound complicated but let me make it easy if you have these two lines wait sorry let's have these two lines and you draw a line like that if these two angles or these two angles are less less meaning sorry less than 180 degree then if you extend these two lines in whatever direction these are less like these angles if these are less than added up together and they're less than 180 degree so if you extend this part they will meet if these are less than 180 degree then if you extend these two they will meet all right um let me just go over it one more time here is straight falling on two straight lines yes we have got that makes the interior angles interior angles on same side of it taken as less than two right angles two right angle is 180 degree why because right angles are 90 plus 90 is equal to 180 then two right uh, two right two straight lines are produced indefinitely meaning if you extend them meet on that side on which the sum of angles is less than 180 degrees or two right angles Hope you got that. Hope you learned something new, and I'll see you in the next video. Um, also, these pictures, all these pictures are by Class Nine Maths and Science. Do watch her videos; they are really good. Um, she kind of helps me out sometimes as well. So please do watch that video; they are really, really good. But I'm quicker. She is more explanatory, but I won't really compare us. You know, comparing is not nice. But anyways. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll and I'll see you very soon. Take them, take care, and bye bye.